Hi everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? I am here to bring you a really fun project. I'm using the Encircled in Warmth stamp set and I have been using it for a few projects on my YouTube. Um, I also blog and I blog on a daily basis and I do highlight the stamp sets that I use for seven days. So at my website, which is, the link is in the description below, you'll be able to go and check out the other projects that I have. Um, I have been blogging for over a year, so I do have quite a bit of content on my blog. So you can access lots of ideas on there. Um, I hope that you will check it out. I appreciate it. This is the card that we are making today. It is a cute one, isn't it? Don't you just love these cute little critters? They are part of a, of a, of some designer series paper that I sell on my website. Um, it is located in the mini catalog, which is from July to December of 2021. And on page 31 is the suite of products. So this is the paper. Isn't it lovely? There's so many different patterns. There's great designs on the back so you can use them after Christmas as well um, but it is a really cute set it has um, it's called sweet little stockings and that's the name of the DSP2 sweet stockings um, the stamp set is sweet little stockings and there's dies that go with it that are called stocking dies they are adorable look at these cute projects that are made with it I love these dots they're super awesome I've used them on plenty of other projects. This ribbon is amazing. It's just an awesome suite. So if you like animals or you know people that like animals and you wanna make some really fun gifts for people, this is a great suite to consider. Um, but I am using the designer series paper from it to cut these little guys out. The words are from Encircled in Warmth and it is a great stamp set, lots of awesome words. And that's where I got the You Warm My Heart. So um, I'm going to move that out of the way and then I am going to show you how I make this cute project. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, I have these little critters. They are out of the designer series paper. This one that looks kind of like a sweater um, is the background. And then this little mouse came out of the back of this piece here that we are going to be using. I'll show you. So this is the pattern and then the little mouse, there he is. There's also this really cute golden retriever, a cat in a box. Of course, cats love to get in boxes, right? So it's such a great little set um, of little creatures that you can get to all from one pack of paper. And so I love that there's lots of varieties of the animals, um, all the different breeds and stuff, and you can really, customized to who you're making your projects for. So I am folding my piece of four and a quarter by 11 inches in half, and that's gonna form my card. This is gonna be my backing. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that. I almost hate to cover up these sweet little guys, but we do need a background for our card, don't we? And this little stitched background is adorable. Looks like we're getting some rain. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I hear some thunder. Looks like we're getting some nice rain. Of course we need it. All right, so let's go ahead and fussy cut all the animals out first. When I say fussy cut, what I mean is we are going to use my paper snips, which are amazing. They're nice thin blades. We're gonna work our way around these little guys. I'm gonna leave a little border of white around them. And the reason I do that is it helps draw your eye inward and it doesn't look like you cut crooked. I mean, because no one's perfect, right? When we cut, we don't always cut so perfectly straight. Now, of course, the more you cut, the better you get at doing it. But when you leave this border, it's a trick to help draw your eye into the color inside. And um, then you don't have to be a perfect fussy cutter, which I love. I don't mind fussy cutting. Um, I know some of my customers do not really enjoy it, but I don't mind it so much. Um, to me, it's kind of relaxing. I literally can sit in front of the TV and fussy cut out all these little critters from this paper um, in no time. 
So here is our pup. Isn't he cute? Let's do our little grumpy cat. She's so funny with those little... It's almost like she's just so annoyed that um, her owner put those um, antlers on her head. Right? She's like, get this off of me. <laughs> I think she's adorable. And I love how her little ears jut out to the side. Speaking of animals, if you hear that little snoring in the background, that is my Yorkie. She's super cute. Her name is Gidget. She is older. And when she sleeps, she makes the cutest little noises. So um, if you hear that, that's what you're hearing in the background. I have her in one of the cubbies of my um, Ikea Calyx unit. She has one of the bottom cubbies and her bed is in there and she hangs out with me while I do my crafting and that's where she sleeps. So um, she's just kind of part of the room. So hopefully you don't mind uh, listening to her cute little grunts. All right, so we're almost done with our kitty cat. And then the two biggest pieces will be Fussy Cut. I think it's worth the effort to get these adorable little creatures um, cut out of the paper. There is our kitty. Let's do the parakeet. Can't forget the bird lovers out there. I'm not particularly a, a lover of birds, but so many people love birds and have um, parakeets. I When I was much smaller, um, I had a parakeet. But yeah, this is a cute little bird. So he is done. And the last one is this mouse, which he goes on the inside of our card. I'm still going to go ahead and cut him out and get him ready. I just kind of do things in batches. To me, it's faster to make a card when you do all the one type of um, thing at a time, like all the fussy cutting, all the gluing, all the die cutting. I do it in batches and I, um, I just feel like it's so much faster. Let me see how I cut the one on the inside here. Did I do his tail separate? I did. I went intricately into this section, so we'll do it again. It's kind of a, a little bit dangerous because I don't want to cut his tail off, right? <laughs> So let's see if I can get around it without cutting it off. Cute little tail. There we go. And around down to his little foot. And he is done. All right. I'll throw these little remains away. I'm going to push these guys to the side. Let's get stamping now. These are ready when it's their turn. So this is a piece of old olive, which is the same color as my cardstock for the base of my card. And I am going to show you today how to emboss using the dye based inks. So we are, um, if you want a colored embossed image, you are going to grab the color of your choice. And I'm doing a tone on tone here. So I'm actually going to do old olive ink on old olive cardstock. I really love the look of the tone on tone. I think it looks amazing. And um, the colors complement each other very nicely. We're going to do some heat embossing today, which will give um, it that raised surface. Let me bring the card up to the top of the camera here so you guys can see. Um, hopefully you can see there's a, a shine to it or a glimmer to the lettering. And that is because it has been heat embossed, so it's raised up. So we are going to first stamp or ink our words, you warm my heart. All right. Well, actually, I totally did that wrong. <laughs> so let's start over. This is real life crafting, folks. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously, I can't do that part first, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little corner has a little bit. There we go. Now, nice and clean, we'll start over. First, we're gonna ink it up with our Versamark ink, which is our clear embossing ink. So we're gonna grab that first and give it a nice 
generous amount of Versamark. Now, <laughs> now we're gonna come back and we are gonna grab that green old olive and we are going to go ahead and ink that onto our piece of cardstock. Give it a nice press like that. Because we use the Versamark first, we are going to be um, using our embossing powder. And this is the clear. It comes in the basic embossing powder packet. And we are going to, I put, I just pour it out and put it in a container. You can see that one side is coated. The other side is not yet coated. If it didn't have that Versamark ink on the bottom, it would not be coating because dye base ink does not grab powder only um, embossing ink does. So there, I'm just gonna make sure I have quite a bit of coverage on there. So oh, that is nice and covered. I'm gonna go ahead and clean my stamp while I'm at it. ahead and heat that up. I'm going to use my heat tool and I will turn that on. It is a little bit loud but hopefully you can still hear me. I'm going to use my scissor here and hold on to it so it doesn't blow away and I'm going to go directly over the top and as it starts melting the powder you're going to see that color pop out. And what is actually left behind is a raised piece that's shiny. Once that powder gets melted and it leaves a really pretty shiny surface. And that's all it takes. Hopefully you can see that it is nice and shiny. I'm gonna let that sit to the side for a minute. And then I will fussy cut it. But while we're waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and ink the inside. We're gonna stamp with the same old olive ink. This time it's not gonna be embossed. We're just gonna stamp it inside. It says, wishing you love, joy, and happiness this coming year. And it's also in the same stamp set, encircled in warmth. I'll show it to you one more time. Here it is. So that's what I use for the inside. This is the sentiment for the outside. And I will go ahead and clean that. And then we'll do our fussy cutting and all of our gluing at the same time. So I will clean that one off. All right. That. There, we're going to close our ink pad. All right, let's start fussy cutting our image. It is ready now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring my other card in so you can see. I'm going to try and do it about the same. It may be slightly different. But I'm basically going to come in, I'm going to leave a border around my words. Come in as much as I can around this image. Work our way around here. I really love this font. I think it's so pretty. I love all the little curly cue-ness of it. I think it is beautiful. And I think by cutting out like this, you get just such a beautiful look to it um, by cutting it close around. Or a different look anyway, right? Ooh, it's starting to rain. I think we have some bands of rain weather. I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and around this T and work my way around and down. 
and around the other part of the word here. Go in around here by this H and this section here. Come in and around and down in this M and down. Like I said, it's such a pretty font. I think that going around it like this really sets it off. Let's come in on this side here. And um, every time I fussy cut things, I just kind of decide at the moment how far in I wanna cut, what I wanna do. So like I said, this one may look a little bit different than the last one, but for the most part, it'll be similar. I'm going to move the my out of the way here so that I can get my scissor around this U of the of the word U. Can you guys hear that rain? It is raining so hard. All right. Let's come down and around. Go around this curly Q and around the W and back to where we started, just like so. There it is. How close did I get to the last one? Oh, I went down in the W. Let's do that. I, I do like it. Let's kind of go down in these points here. Just bring it in a little. And round this section and then bring it down and come down again again there we go oh that looks good I do like that I did that that's why I went ahead and come back so other than that looks pretty similar huh I didn't do too bad I think I left a little bit too much around that loop there there we go all right so now we have our words cut out and we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of those we're also gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our kitty cat and on the back of our parakeet. So I'm flipping them over so that they can get their dimensionals. The kitty cat will get a few. And let's put some on these words. Just wherever um, one will fit. I'm gonna sneak it in there. And um, over here, we're gonna use the small ones. I have a few left on the sheet and I can fit those in there. I do like using um, the ends as well. I have another sheet here that has some ends and those are perfect for things like this where you um, just need like a small little part that you can kind of move around. And then like for that part, we can use a little thin piece like this. I trim those out. That looks awesome. That's plenty. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add two small pieces on the antlers here of the kitty cat so that um, they also can stick up. And maybe I should put another little piece in the middle there. There we go. All right, so that's that's awesome. The doggy's gonna get glued flat, and so is the mouse on the inside. Let's move these guys out of the way. So we'll start with the puppy dog, since he's gonna be flat. We're gonna move the mouse, because we'll do that when we go to the inside. Let's flip him over. I'm gonna use some wet glue. This is our multi-purpose glue, I love it. Uh, I love it because it gives you wiggle room and it's also a very strong bonded adhesive. So I will put some adhesive on there and then whenever I use wet glue, I always use my tweezers because I don't like to make a mess. And we're gonna put him down here where his tail is near the end and he is laying down here. You see the wiggle room I'm talking about? I can kind of slide him around. All right, so let's go ahead and now use the take your pick tool. I use that to attach 
the little parakeet to his back. We'll pull that off. And the parakeet looks like it's sitting right there on his back. And let's go ahead and pull the backings off of our grumpy cat. <laughs> so cute. I love this take your pick tool to pull these backs off because they end up on here and not on my craft room floor. Oh, my fingers are sticky. There we go. It's nice when you have a nice strong adhesive. So we'll put the cat like he's sitting right here on the floor going to the dog. What is going on here and why am I wearing this thing on my head? And why are you happy to have that thing around your neck? <laughs> and let's pull our last ones off here off of our words whoops gotta hold on to that one kind of skinny one more to go these dimensionals are super sticky let's pull these off I think I didn't get that one there we go all right into the trash can you guys go all right our W kind of got a little smushed there I will fix it all right, so here we go. We are gonna center that, put that down. There we go. Place that onto our card. Doesn't that look so pretty? I'm actually gonna um, come around here. It looks a little bit crooked right there. And give it a snip, a little haircut. So there's the front of our card and let's get our mat back out and our wet glue and put a little bit on our mouse. He's going to go inside with our words. Just put a tiny bit on his tail here. And we will grab that, open our card up. How about we put him in this corner? He'll be so cute. Holding that little present. Push him down. Hold on to him for a second so he can grab. Isn't he adorable? So there is our card. What do you guys think? Isn't it cute? I think it turned out awesome. Like I said, that designer series paper really made it very happy with how it turned out. I hope you are too. Um, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate um, you guys supporting me and watching my videos. It helps me to bring you more. Um, I'm kind of new to YouTube, so if you don't mind um, helping me out, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ask your friends to subscribe too, and when you subscribe, you're going to get notifications of when I will post new videos. Check out my blog, um, inkyhandswarmhearts.com. Um, the link is in the description below, and when you go there, you can access PDFs, measurements, and lots more fun projects. Um, there are at least two other videos with this Encircled and Warmth stamp set, so check those out, and I hope that you will come back and watch me stamp again. Thank you again. I appreciate you watching. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping, guys.